Ask Reddit by Yuppie Yeah. What's a podcast actually worth listening to? History of Rome. After the first few episodes where sound produce it and isn't great, it's just like 200 episodes of incredible story of the rise and fall of the entire Roman Empire. The dude knows his shit. Actively will call out his own mistakes during the following episodes when he is wrong, which isn't often, he tells it in way better than any textbook. He almost never goes off the rails and talks about irrelevant material. And when he does it's about baseball for like 4 seconds. He enjoys the topic and you can tell. Revolutions, also by Mike Duncan, is excellent as well. Well there's your problem, a podcast about engineering disasters. With slides. I listen to one or two comedy podcasts but none of them make me laugh as hard or as often as two civil engineers from Philly proud sons of Philly and a posh British woman discussing engineering and societal disasters. Edit, only Roz is a civil engineer, Liam is a finance major because he's a good boy. Great podcast, I went to school with Justin and he was always a very funny guy with his dry sense of humor. Heard from a mutual friend he had started podcasting and figured I'd give it a listen. Probably one of the most interesting and funny podcasts out there and I don't even know much about engineering. A little surprised that this was the top of the thread but I absolutely agree that it's a podcast worth listening to. No such thing as a fish funny while being somewhat educational. I've learned a lot about moss. This is kind of new but check out if books could kill. Two guys discuss and analyze best-selling non-fiction books that could use a good dissection like Rich Dad, Poor Dad and The Secret, well researched and super funny and interesting. Love it. I've been listening to this as well. The episode on Freakonomics made me cringe at myself for thinking so highly of the book when it came out. The Rich Dad Poor Dad episode was super good. I was dying laughing at some of the examples they pulled from the book such as Make More Money by Joining and MLM. Old Gods of Appalachia is a good radio drama. The way narrator speaks, you can feel the trees grow around you. Darknet Diaries Cyber security guy here, Rizzard gets a lot of things right and cares about the community. I am obsessed with this podcast will kill you if you like the biology and history of diseases and illnesses, this is it. The presenters are awesome. Wash your hands, you filthy animals. Hardcore history. The WW1 series may be one of the best podcast series I've ever listened to. Completely rocked my world and made me realize I knew nothing about that war. The history of Rome Mike Duncan. The rest is history. Hardcore history. Just wanna add revolutions from Mike Duncan if you haven't gotten around to that one yet already, that dude is an incredible historian. 99% invisible. Came here for this. I listen to a lot of podcasts and recommend based on the person except this everyone should listen to 99% invisible. Partly just because Roman Mars has a great voice. Behind the Bastards is fantastic, but will question humanity. You know what won't make you question humanity? The tasty feeling of some cool ranch Doritos on in your mouth. Doritos probably never directly caused the genocide. Hidden Brain The Anthropocene Reviewed very different to the others in this list and worth a listen. It's in theory about reviewing certain parts of the human world, but think deeply personal and well-crafted auditory essays framed around those things written by a good author rather than a pure fact dump. Has space not to take itself too seriously at points as well. I love you wrong about. Yup. The episode about the rugby team stranded in the Andes had me feeling every emotion. What else is there to do when rescuers are finally on their way and a young man screams avalanche but spreads everyone with a fire extinguisher but to laugh and then cry a bit. This is actually happening each episode is about an experience someone really had and is told in their own voice. For example, 
One episode is about how a woman survived an apartment fire. Another is about a woman who hit and accidentally killed a person on the road. Definitely not an easy listen but they are all important stories and experiences. The latest 5 part limited series Point Blank was a really great listen. Fascinating to hear the different experiences of the people involved. Knowledge Fight Obviously it's only about Alex Jones and Infowers but it's a great analysis about how misinformation spreads in our current world. A plus podcast. Arlo G's. Really great science podcast. Conan O'Brien needs a friend is genuinely laugh out loud funny and often super insightful. I started out only listening to the celebrities that interested me but then realized that Conan is such a great interviewer he can make almost anyone interesting, so I went back and listened to them all. This is my top comedy podcast, I can't find anything that even compares. Normal gossip is hilarious and the stories are all about low stakes drama. Fun and stress free. Squirrel story is best. Yes. Came here to post this one. I need more podcasts like this to balance out all the murder occult dark history stuff. Fall of Civilization's wonderful and immersive storytelling about the history of a series of doomed civilization from large to small. The Rapper NUI, Easter Island, one is hyperbolically good. Cautionary tales stories and lessons from real life tragedies and near misses. Very often excellent. Edit, oh shit a new episode just dropped in my phone as I was typing this. That is such a fun bit of serendipity. Stuff you should know. I used to work with Chuck's wife in her soap shop. My dad wrote a porno. Really enlightening on the pots and pans industry. Dear Hustle. Stories about life in prison. Likeable hosts. I really like Dear Hustle. Nigel and Elon have such great chemistry and they are so good at bringing out stories in people. Dear Hank and Amp. John hang out with John and Hank Green as they chat about random topics. Light hearted, but can be quite eloquent at times. What's her name history podcast on forgotten little known female figures. 99% invisible deep dives into random topics. Some light hearted, some serious, always eye opening and thought provoking. Explore a story podcast on museums, science and storytelling. The Dork Forest guests talk about their passion hobby. The Atlas Obscura podcast podcast on random places and the people that live there. Seconding 99% invisible. Off menu with Ed Gamble and James A. Castor. Celebrities get to pick their dream meal. The Greg Davis Christmas episode was genuinely unhinged. I've recently been super into Swindled. It's a narrative based podcast in which the host describes cases of white collar crime and other types of con artistry. Absolutely worth listening to. A fellow concerned citizen. Sawbones, a marital tour of misguided medicine. It's a semi-serious look at medical history, hosted by a doctor and her comedian husband. Glad one of the McElroy podcasts are at the top. Sawbones is so good. Lions led by donkeys. Hilarious war history. This is the only podcast I listen to regularly. My favorite is the tagline for I think part 3 of the Battle of Kursk. SS soldiers chant lunch in Kursk, lunch in Kursk they would not, in fact, be having lunch in Kursk. The Dollop. No sleep till hippo. Dungeons and Daddies if you like TTRPG comedy. Heavyweight. You're wrong about. The Magnus Archives. Arlo G's. Arlo G's is a ton of fun. As I imagine many listeners do, I really like the host Ali Ward. She's delightfully nerdy, open, honest, and kind. The pod itself is well structured with useful and interesting asides where Ali adds info among parts of the interview. 
it's a great way to be entertained while learning about somebody's cool CNC job. This American Life The Moth I can't believe this American Life is this low. I have been listening to Ira Glass for over a decade now. Is it really not that popular? I have not seen Doughboys or Blank Check mentioned. Doughboys, chain restaurants reviewed by two very funny people. Has a lot of good celebrity guests. Blank Check, they cover a director's filmography from beginning to end. Very insightful without being serious. Funnily enough, both podcasts feature a host who loves trains. This is a podcast about filmographies. Directors who have massive success early on in their careers and are given a series of blank checks to make whatever crazy passion project they like. Sometimes those checks clear and sometimes they bounce, baby. 60 songs that explain the 90s. It's more than 60, and got renewed. It explains the history behind a very diverse selection of songs from the decade. Rob Harvilla is a hell of a writer. Distractible. But are you listening hard enough? Hello Internet. This is important. Poposeo. The Weekly Planet. Blowback. Car Talk. Wait, the old episodes on NPR with Click and Clack? In Our Time. It's a BBC one in which Melvin Bragg, one of the best interviewers ever, talks to two or three academic experts in a random subject. It covers arts, history and science. Hello, in 1242 three Florentine monks developed a new form of basket weaving. If you are looking for something funny, Comedy Bang Bang is pretty great. It can be a little hit or miss since it's an improv interview show, but when it hits, it can be incredible. https colon slash slash yahtoo.be slash j8 vio dash pmok question mark 211 close bracket dart. Bob Ducker's lists are the funniest long running bit. The Always Sunny Podcast. The episode where Rob talks about almost fighting a guy in the in and out drive through was both hilarious and super insightful. Really get to see them through a different lens. The Blind Boy Podcast I don't listen to podcasts at all really, but I was put onto this one, and it's actually been life changing. He's an Irish musician, comedian, author and ex-prank phone caller. The podcast is not funded by ads so he doesn't have to do any sponsored content. Just talks about what he wants to talk about. It's soft, comical and oftentimes, mindful. He has tells funny stories and recounts his journey of self-care. The winter blues this year were a lot less blue thanks to advice taken from his podcast.